Hello YouTube and welcome to your third tutorials on Microsoft Basic. Now in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create our first uh, program on QBasic. Now before we get started, I would like us to watch our previous videos so that we can get familiar with what we are about to do. Now the first thing I want to point out in this video is when you are working with QBasic, there are some essential things that you need to get. Number one is you need to get your line numbers. So in other words, line numbers are very very important in key basics. So I'm going to insert my line number just like typing anything maybe from five. So you type your words five. Five then you type your keyword rim which is just like a remark. Uh, let me say program to print hello world. Alright then the next one is actually what you want to print so in this place I'm going to say print since it's a string I'm going to put it in double quotes hello world just this and when I compile it and run you're going to notice something really okay I think it's compiling you should just wait for it a little so you see it prints hello world for us now what I want you guys to take notice is this place here is our line number which I said is very important in QBasic or in basic. Now when you insert line number in case you want to do your debugging you will, you will be able to trace a line of code with this, each of these line number so therefore it's very important. Now this one here RAM is a keyword and the full meaning of RAM is what remark is a keyword that is used to insert comment in our program as you can see when we say rem program to print hello world when you look at our result here is not showing or is not coming out so that is to say that this rem is just like a comment in every other programming language now you see another one here print hello world now this print is a keyword in qbasic that is used to output our results or that is used for outputting now the reason why we impute this hello world in double quotes is because it's a string and every string data type must be enclosed in a double quotation mark so these two lines of code is what produces this result here so let me just write another type of program and maybe explain it so if you go ahead and take this one off okay let me just leave it maybe declare 20 then I will initialize a variable the variable may be called hello then I will impute see this equals hello world second let me just differentiate it print 30 print hello Alright, let me run this one and talk you guys through it. Alright, if you take notice of this program, it prints Hello World 2, which is uh, the second one that we declared. Now, the reason is because in line 20 here, we declared a variable, which is a string variable. Now, if you look at this uh, dollar sign here, attached to this name, it is used to uh, notify our compiler that this name here is a string variable and this string variable here is what holding hello world the second hello world that we type here which is hello world 2 then in line 30 we print out the variable name I know you, you guys may not understand what variables are but in our next tutorials or when we are talking about variables I will be able to differentiate and explain more on this now so we printed the hello dollar sign which holds these uh, strings here so that is why we have this one coming out so I think with this now you understand how QBasic works now the one thing I want you guys to point out in this tutorial is you must insert what your line number anyway it's not that it's a must anyway but it's, it's very very conventional that you insert your line number because without line number it will be very very difficult for you to debug your programs 
in case there is error but it's not compulsory that you must insert the line number you can run your program without using line numbers then the next thing is for you to take note of this rem keyword which is just like remark anytime you insert this rem keyword the next uh, code that follows it will not be printed out so you just like commenting your program then the next keyword is print maybe outputting your results and then declaring a variable which we are going to come over it so with this so you stay tuned and watch our next tutorials on variables don't forget to subscribe